It's kind of interesting to see. This is one of the few films where Pasolini, well, not a few, but uh, we see really a melange of professional and non-professional. So it's basically Anna Magnani surrounded by a cohort of non-professional actors. Um, and it's kind of interesting to read the diary that Pasolini wrote while shooting Mamma Roma, which he was really uh, uh, having a tough time directing a real actress, uh, and particularly a star like Anna Magnani. Because he was more at ease with the people from the street, with the known actors, and he didn't have to motivate them, for example. He didn't have to explain the story to the kids. They would just say, you know, go from here to there. Yeah. But Anna Magnani was more complicated. Um, in that film, Anna Magnani decided to wear a wig, which, uh, because she felt that she was at awe, that she, she felt out of play. Her hair were too nice for the, for the other people. But isn't that funny because looking at Pasolini and his own history, isn't yeah. that kind of what he fought with his <laughs> yeah, whole life? Probably. He 